No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. But what's up, y'all, man? It's Jack Boo. I'm back at it with another reaction for y'all today, man. So, yeah, it's like for today's video, I got another reaction for y'all. I got another reaction for y'all. It's called Dating Blind. I know, I know I've been doing a lot of blind date reactions uh, videos for y'all. But, you know, they're just, I, I just can't help it, bro. They're so, they're, they're just interesting to me. Like, that type of stuff is interesting, interesting to me. But, yeah, uh, but don't worry. We'll, we'll definitely, we'll, like, we'll switch it up a little bit. We'll, we'll switch it up. We'll switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't always do reactions on blind dates. Like, I'll do reactions on other stuff, too. But don't worry about it. Um, but, yeah, for today's video, we got blind dating six girls based on their pets. Now, this the thing is, and the thing about this is, I actually had, I actually did, uh, I think this was like around the first or second video that I uploaded on my channel. But yeah, I did a reaction on these types of videos one time, and <laughs> like my audio was muted the whole time, bro. Like, like my dudes, like it's just, it's just past me, just talking and just like. Like he was just talking in silence. I was like, "What?" It's like, why is he talking in silence? Like the whole time, my audio, my audio was muted. I was like, "Are you serious?" I was like, "Bro, I sat there for two hours record. I, I basically recorded nothing. I basically recorded nothing. Like the whole audio, you can even hear the mute. You can even hear the the video audio. Like I was just like, "Wow, like that is crazy." You had to, you had to delete, delete that video. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was like, "This was kind of crazy." But um, yeah, we got yeah. It's like basically. Yeah, I basically got this video for y'all today. Uh, binding, binding six girls based on their pets. Now, this is this is like that little add a little twist to it, you know, based on their pets. Like you won't be able to see like their face or nothing, none of that. Like it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I, I, I like how I like how that I like how the theme is kind of set up based on that on this on this video. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just been I'm just glad to be back on YouTube. You know what I'm saying, man? When seeing same, <laughs> I can't talk. Um. I'm just glad to be back on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, I just been working, man. Like, like work has just been, <laughs> just, just like just been doing me wrong, man. Like, just not doing me wrong. Just, just haven't really had no time to myself. Like, when I once I get off, once I get off work, I just want to chill. Like, I don't want to do anything. I don't even want to record. <laughs> like, it'd be like that sometimes. But hey, I'm glad to be back. Might make more content for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, just back under the banger. But uh, yeah. Uh, before we get into the video, I want to say, I just want to say, <laughs> don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know, it really helps the channel. It really helps your boy out when you leave, when you, when you, when you do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on that bell for post notifications to receive future updates on videos. You know what I'm saying, man? That way you'll, you'll never be able to miss, miss out on the video. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, um, let's get into the video and see what we got for, let's see what we got in this video for today. Of course, uh, Kylo Elms, 21 years old. One of the two dogs I own is Blondie here. Blondie is an Akita Shepherd. She's pretty much got the body of a shepherd and then the face of an Akita. So I work at this place called Dog People down in uh, Elms, 21 years old. One of the two dogs I own is Blondie here. Blondie is an Akita Shepherd. She's pretty much got the body of a shepherd and then the face of an Akita. So I work at this place called Dog People down in um, Santa Monica, working with dogs of like definitely seeing how dogs act and how owners act. Honestly, I think you can learn possibly their whole personality from a pet. Hi guys, I'm Kylo, or Kai for short, and I brought my pet Blondie with me today. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I brought my pet Leo. Hi, I'm Delani. Today I brought my pet Arlo. Hi, I'm Janie. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm here with uh, Bloopy. It's an amazing name. She kind of looks like a, a bloop. What is a bloop? You know what, you'll see. <laughs> Hi, my name is Katie, and hey. I brought my pet Chicken. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm Destiny. Hi. I have Dexter here. I'm Caitlin, and this is Bentley. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. When did you get Arlo? In January. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, well, actually, well, that even makes sense. I don't like. I don't want to say anything. But, like, I don't want to say anything like you know, official yet. But you know, <laughs> Kay Kaylee already has my vote. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, come on now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. If, if you like. Like Kay Kaylee's just like the best girl looking girl, like out of all these females. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like she she definitely holds that that top one spot, you know what I'm saying? 
but yeah, she she definitely has she she's definitely winning right now off looks alone. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> January of 2021. I got her during COVID and she's been a joy ever since. I got chicken two years ago. I had to meet the seller at 4 a.m. in the morning at a McDonald's parking lot to get her. So it's kind of scary, but. That is really sketchy. <laughs> what do you guys do? She looks like she don't even, she, 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 she looks kind of shy. I'm not even a lot of you, yada you. Like, she looks kind of shy. Like she looks, she don't even want to be on here, kind of. She's like, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get her in the street. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, bro, like, loosen up. <laughs> like, bro, you, 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 this isn't an interrogation. It's a blind date. Have fun. Do this, like, on your free time. Just, like, in general, just <laughs> to hang out and bond with each other. Um, Bloopy is definitely one for snuggles. She oh, also she loves... I uh, named a, a cat, a, a, a sphinx cat, Bloopy. Like, you could have given him any other name but you want to name him bloopy like what part of what part of this cat made you want to name him that like you, 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 you just you, you just you're just bad at names <laughs> it's okay i'm bad at names too like i had a, I had a pet dog his name was rocky <laughs> and it was rocky i'm not gonna lie to you like yeah he was a pet he was a pit bull <laughs> named <him> rocky <laughs> uh when i cook because she loves to be near the stove when it's warm. Road tripping, I guess, is a major way that we bond and spend time together. Uh, we used to go on hikes a lot. He really loves trees and hiding in bushes and catching lizards. Mommy does the same exact thing. Are you guys alike in any ways or like how are you guys different? I think we both have stellar senses of humor, incredible looks. <laughs> We're different because I think she's more mischievous than I am. And she knows when she's getting into trouble too. Because she'll do something and then look at me yes. and be like, ha ha. And Bonnie does the same thing. <laughs> we are both able to read like the energy in the room really well. Um, we're also both very adaptive. She likes rock music. That's <laughs> one thing. I know that because she likes to sit on my drum set when I play. So. <laughs> I would say we're both kind okay, of spoiled. We're it definitely used to bit, okay. um, how things are and getting our way, I suppose. <laughs> he loves to jump. So if you like hold it above your head, he also does tricks too. I love, I see will, that right now. <laughs> Leo okay. is very protective. He's very energetic. He loves to eat. He's a little she's thief. The one, bro. She's the one. He's a quick learner. Very smart. A lot of Aussies are. Yeah. Aussies are very interesting breeds to have in cities usually. Mm -hmm. um, does Leo have like hurting problems? Like does he hurt humans or dogs? Yes. Yeah. I have two younger brothers, yeah. so when they run like around a field, he yeah. will hurt them back. Yeah, Liam's great. He's the best. It's amazing. It's so soft. I'm the best too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Delani again. Yeah. And your dog oh, is cool too. Animals oh, Arlo. My, my pet, pet is Arlo. Arlo. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah my dog is Arlo. <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. yeah, Arlo is a lab chihuahua mix. Like I said, he is pretty warm, pretty friendly. Sometimes I have to worry about stranger danger with him because he's such a people person. He does have a little bit of a bite as well, so he's not afraid to like show a fierce side too, which I like about him. <laughs> I say as he's <laughs> rolled over. <laughs> That's a, a you said Chihuahua. Bro, I can't stand Chihuahuas, bro. I, I I hate Chihuahuas almost as much as I hate cats, bro. Because like, bro, they're so loud, but it's like, but they're, they're so like they're so small, but they're so deadly at the same time, like. They're like ankle biters. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. They're ankle biters. Like, bro, imagine finding something. Imagine, bro, you're, I'm like six feet. I'm like six foot two. And, and I'm and I'm trying to, uh, Charles trying to bite me, bro. Like, the most I can really do it is like kick it or something. But like, that you might try to bite me while I'm trying to kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like, chihuahuas are deadly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, they're almost, <laughs> like, they're really almost as bad as cats. Almost. And I say almost because, you know, chihuahua is a type of dog. Like with cats, like at least with a dog, you can kind of tell. With a dog, you can kind of tell when it's about to bite you or something like that. With cats, you never really know, bro. It's like, like you're like petting them. He was like, "Oh, that's so cute." And then next thing you know, you're like, <laughs> "I'm like, dang! I'm like, oh, I thought it was cool. Like, what's up with that? Like, why are you, why are you scratching me? Like, what's up with that? Like, bro, I'll put you in a box. <laughs> Stop playing with me, boy, for real." Like I'm not gonna see your, I'm not gonna see you. I'm not gonna see you trying to show you affection. And then all of a sudden you wanna scratch me. Like what's wrong with you? Well, I'll never knock you out, boy. Like for real. 
lab mix. Lab, that's yeah, interesting. I know he came out looking like a golden, so I don't know what happened there. But so I'm Caitlin, and this is Bentley. He's a King Charles Cavalier. He's the like probably the most unconfrontational dog you'll ever meet. And like in a zombie apocalypse, I would protect him just to get the visual. <laughs> How old is Bentley? He's ten. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> All right, bye. Nice meeting you. Bentley, no. Yeah. <laughs> Bentley, no! Bentley! Bentley! <laughs> Bentley, over here. Oh, he's deaf, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Destiny. Hi. Again. And then this is Dexter. So I'm assuming Dexter is a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's the one that's making all the noises. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he's getting very comfortable with you right now. <laughs> I've had Dexter for six years. He actually, because he's deaf. So he only can kind of feel the vibrations of everyone. And I'm pretty sure he can feel everyone's energy as well. He feeds off of that. The majority of the cats I know are pretty like social. So they kind of break that norm of like cats are like these like really closed off animals, which is not always true. I think animal, any animal can be closed off. But yeah, I mean, Dexter seems really cool and just like energetic and loves food clearly. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> knocking down the box of fruits. <laughs> Energy just between dogs and their owners are usually pretty compatible with each other. She might be a trusting person just with how <laughs> comfortable Leo is with random people, which isn't bad. You can tell Leo like obviously loves her because if the dog's protective over you, that means like there's a, there's a real connection there. Leo gives off good vibes, so that means the owner has good vibes also, usually. I have great vibes, and I bet you have great vibes too. Oh my god. I see one more ass! I don't want to keep showing me ass. Oh, oof, okay. I don't care about your ass. I don't care. There's a skip button for a reason. And then I'm gonna go with, um, I think Caitlin and Bentley. Honestly, we're just probably just gonna go back home, just chill, like we always do. Most definitely, yeah. And someone who like understands how to take care of a pet and you know nurture something that's not themselves. Well, um, this is Delani again. Hi, it's Kylo. Obviously, <laughs> what do you do for work? Um, I work in a nonprofit that champions youth mentoring as um, a vehicle to end poverty and uh, foster care. What about you? Uh, I have a couple of jobs. Oh. The main one, I guess, is like I work at a dog park. Oh, fun. And then the other one is just modeling on the side because like it's really easy money. I'm really into photography, so like I'm trying to get back into that. What style of photography would you say? Um, I've always been into like landscape photography and just nature. Like National Geographic was like like my dream job coming out of like college, uh, high school. That's super specific. <laughs> yeah, no, I just like just like just where they like they got to travel everywhere and like take pictures of all these cool animals and go mm -hmm. to all these cool places. And I was like really intrigued by that. For me, the ultimate goal is to transfer into real estate at some point like later on in life yeah so i completely vibe with what you're saying about not everything has to come now i just want to say this real quick the crazy thing about it is like we, like they were just talking about real estate there's actually a there's not a girl that i know personally but she went to my school and like she she like she got she got into real estate like and she got into, i don't know when she got into real estate but she, she got into real estate maybe like probably sometime after we graduated from high school i'm like Dang, I'm like, dang. like, I was like, good on her, cause you know, you know, how people get paid. For, you know how much people get paid for real estate, bro? Oh, that's, that's a, that's a career. That is a career, bro. Like, that's crazy. I was like, yeah, she definitely did her thing. When she, I was, like, I don't know her name, but like, she, I don't know, but she, she definitely did her thing, bro. Like for real. Congratulations to her, for real. Now, when yeah. you're super young, like we're all on a journey, and where we end up is meant to be in its own time and place. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. My name is Kaylee. Hi. Hi. What do you do for work, though? Um, I'm an actor. Okay. <laughs> I just moved here last week. Got, wow. Uh, yeah. What do you do on your free time when you're not modeling, taking headshots? <sighs> what, am I, what do I do? Honestly, a lot of the time I'm just like out with blonde. I have another dog, too. So we go hiking a lot with them, me and my mom, or our like active stuff with friends and just Mm -hmm. artistic stuff because we're all in that same like industry of like art and like modeling and acting and music. That sounds like a lot of fun. No, yeah, it's definitely a vibe. What about you? What do you do for your free time? When I have the chance, I like to paint. I like to surf. I like to go to the gym. Also, you know, hang out with Leo yeah. and go on hikes to the Hollywood sign. That's a rough one. <laughs> Very rough one. Yeah, I, I don't know why. You know, just being active oh, and creative at the same time. Yeah. 
It was good. It's really cool. You get to know their personalities before anything. Mm -hmm. I fuck. Can I curse? I can curse. Yeah, I fuck with it. <laughs> Making sure. Sorry, I've been holding back a lot of like words the entire time because that's like cursing is like half my vocabulary, honestly. Being from the East Coast and everything. Uh, yeah, she gets, she gets it. <laughs> and now I have to make a decision. It just sucks. It's okay. You don't take it to heart. <sighs> I'm gonna go with. Delaney? That's how you pronounce your name, right? Or... Oh, yeah. No, it's Delaney. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. I... It's okay. It's a unique first name. Delaney. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry. My bad. My bad. No, it's okay. But yeah. Delaney. Leo is going to be just as active. Um, Wait, and I am just going to be doing my thing, looking for love. No, um, we're very loyal for each other. What? He's the oh, only man I trust. And it's been no. proven right every single time. Oh, cool. Come on, Blunts. <sighs> oh. Oh, can I look? Yeah. Okay. I'm stuck here. Oh, hi. hi! You do look like an East Coast boy. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. I, get that. I don't get that on. I get LA boy a lot. Oh, oh no. I grew, up in, Jersey, Jersey, so. I grew up in New York. Yeah. 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 I was like vibing with both of you, so it was really just coming down to like who who I like felt like I would vibe with more. And I just, since you're from the East Coast, it's like not a lot of people. Yeah, I'm not sure fit. Not a lot of people get that personality. Yeah, for sure. They're, like the really uncomfortable when I start cursing. They're like, oh my god. I'm like, ah, it's, I can't help it. It's like no, my parents like both a, have potty mouths. It's a second language for me personally. <laughs> He's just a very lovable like dog, um, and so a lot of people just have a good impression, I think, of me from him. Um, but he's the star of the show for sure. Blondie's never been like that involved in my dating life like that. Even if it wasn't uh, Kylie, Delani has to. Be, I was like, he was either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaylee. I, I mean, I keep saying Kylie. Kaylee, Kylie, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna just say Kylie. Uh, uh, Kylie. No, okay. I'm gonna just say Kaylee. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, Kaylee or Del like, if Kaylee doesn't get it, definitely give it to De Delani. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone else can, everyone else can kick rocks. <laughs> it's like that. I mean, she's been around the people I've dated. Obviously, whoever Blondie likes is like, all right, cool. We'll test that out. I definitely could do like a hike in Malibu. Um, I we haven't explored out that way quite yet, so I think that'd be a really good first start. Hello. When they pick the final person, like, did they actually like? Well, that's just probably, it's really none of our business, but I wonder if they actually like stay together and like keep in touch or something like that. Like, I know, imagine if you like, imagine if you got like on a date with like, imagine you're on a blind date, right? Like, at least like, the, yeah, like a blind date, exactly like this, like how it's set up and all that. Like, you pick your girl, and then like, turns out she's not to sound shallow or anything or like mean or nothing like that, but like, let's say you pick her and then she's not what you expect her to be. And then like, she's expecting you to keep in touch with her. And you just ghost her completely, like, like it's kind of it's kind of like I don't know, like I don't know. I know that's kind of crazy. I mean, like I feel like I would have like if it was me, I would be like, hey yo, I feel like oh man, excuse me, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry, yeah, man, I, I told you work be killing me. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, yeah, I feel like when when you pick your girl and then like she's not what you expected to be, and y'all just kind of like fall out. I wonder like. I wonder, what, I wonder what be going through their heads. Like, I wonder if they like, like, man, I sure wish I picked that other girl. You know what I'm like? Man, it could have gone differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I know. Like, it's kind of crazy, but I don't know. But this was a cool little, it was a cool little video. Cool little video, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do some better reactions to, you know, <laughs> and it's not gonna be no, it's not gonna be blood, uh, blood. On, I, I don't even know why I said that. Cut, cut that out. Cut, cut, cut that out. But yeah, um, um, <laughs> be sorry. But um, yeah, uh, I'm never gonna give y'all better reactions, uh, to different videos because I'm not gonna lie. Blind date, don't get me wrong. Blind dates are cool. Blind dates are cool. But you know, I don't want it to be like a repetitive thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to react to some new stuff. Man, some new stuff. I'm just saying. The only reason why I've been doing blind date reaction videos for now was because. That's really all I've really been. That's all I've been watching, really. I'm not gonna lie. Just blind dates. Uh, yeah, just, just blind dates, really. That's really all I've been watching. Like seriously, I don't know why. I don't know how. I just been. That's what. I, that's that's what I've been watching. I don't know. But yeah, that'll be end. That'll be the end for today's video, you guys. So for the next video, will be coming up tomorrow. Coming tomorrow, probably around like I want to. I want to say like. Hmm. 
I'll probably start recording at like six or seven when I get off work. So stay tuned. So the video should be up by like eight or nine later to, uh, later tomorrow night. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. For, stay stay tuned for the next video, and I will see you guys in the next video. But also, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you right here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to turn on that bell for post notifications to be updated on videos. So that way you'll never be, you always be notified when you when a new video pops up. So when I upload a video, like, hey, like, hey, yo, Christian, upload a new video. Go watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, yeah, go definitely do all that stuff. Show your boy some love. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Peace.